Hey everybody, welcome back to the vlog. Thank you for joining me once again for tea time. Have a little bit of misty morning. Love it, love it guys. TGIF, TGIF guys, Friday, I don't even know. Where did the week go? I can't even believe it. So today we're gonna be talking about Canon and their patent on a brand new power tool that hopefully is going to be coming out soon. Well, it's kind of not really a power tool, but I call it that because it's kind of that way. They almost took a page out of a playbook out of DeWall or Ryobi or somebody, right? Very cool stuff. I wanna show you the patent and dive a little deeper into the patent, not just the surface of what it looks like. Get in there to the nitty gritty. I want you guys to tell me where I got it wrong, where I got it right, as always. Let's have this discussion and see what you think. Now, power tools, guys, power tools. So this drill is a drill that I had for probably about 10 years, and I love it. Does it still work? Yeah. But the problem is, it's the battery. Can't find the battery anymore, right? Can't find those replacements. And if I find one, it's like a Chinese knockoff. It lasts for two or three months and I'm throwing in the garbage. So what did I have to do? I went ahead and bought another drill. But instead of one that has this proprietary battery that only works on this specific drill, I got a drill that has a battery that can be used in this drill, but can be removed and used in another power tool from DeWalt. It makes sense, guys, right? Easy, easy peasy. Well, as you all know, your photographers, videographers, you know you have just a kit full of batteries. A battery for everything. If you're a Canon, you have a battery for your T, your Rebel line. You have a battery for your 7Ds, you have a battery for your 5Ds, you have a battery for your 1D, whatever. They're all different batteries. And then if you have battery grips, you have a dozen different battery grips, right? Because they all take different grips, different batteries. And even if they do have the exact same battery in it, sometimes they have different grips because of the slight differences in the bodies. It's a pain, it's expensive, and it's just annoying. Well, Canon has come up with a solution. They ripped the page right out of Ryobi or DeWald or any of these companies, and they're creating a grip that is a universal grip. What? <laughs> this is the kind of stuff that it's like so super simple, stupid simple that you're like, well, why did anyone else do that? All right, so let's jump right into this patent schematic and take a look at it and how it works. So as you can see here, you have the camera, you have this little plate right here that is kind of that universal adapter plate. And then at the bottom, you actually have the battery grip. Okay, and you have the camera and everything. This is all great, but it's kind of just generic. When you look at it, you're like, yeah, I kind of get it. Let's dig a little deeper into the next image. All right, so here we can see it a little bit better in a different bit of an angle. Now, once again, you have this plate that goes into the camera. You can see that this screws in just like normal, but even with this image, it really doesn't tell us too much. It looks just like a simple battery grip that would slide in. It does have that modularity where it has this plate here, and then you have the actual grip at the bottom. All right, that's okay. Let's look at the next image. Now here's where things get a little interesting. We're actually just looking at the grip part and not the plate, but look at the battery. What's cool here is the battery, as you can tell, comes in through the side. You have a battery that would go here, a second battery that would go here, and it would slide in from the side. But what's also interesting is down here, you can see how it has that flip switch. Now, if you don't know, or if you've ever seen Canon, if you look at the back of the Canon grips, you have this same exact flip switch. And when you push the button, it opens up the door. You can install your two batteries. But by the looks of this, you would actually have two means of accessing your battery. You would be able to use this flip switch down here, but then you would also be able to slide in this big mega battery thing from the side, completely different than any other grip, but very akin to a 1D. Now check this 1D out, guys. You see this? This is an old 1D, but you see where the battery comes in? So check it out. It comes in from the side. Does this not look almost identical to that modular battery holder looks like? It looks just like that, right guys? It looks just like this. So it would slide in through the side, but then of course on the front, you'd be able to flip the door open so you can access 
either the full unit, if you're using maybe a big 1D battery, maybe that's a possibility, or if you use that modular adapter, you'll be able to access the two batteries from the back. <laughs> Super cool. Does that just, I mean, like I said, this is like just stupid stuff that you would think that every company would do. This is just simple, but it just makes sense. Now let's go over to the last image that I have here. What's also cool here is now this is the plate and this is where things change also. Now, let me highlight this right here. This is that area on the back where the two where the two come together, right? So let me just take this off and you can see. You see this right here? This is where the unit would come in and you would tighten it up, all right? That's that unit right there where it goes into their plate now instead of into the bottom of the camera. But what's cool is this, this 223A and 223B. If you look at that, it looks like it's giving play of about maybe half an inch, maybe three quarters of an inch to be able to slide. Now, do you see these pins? This looks like a pin right here, maybe a pin right there. Maybe they go inside of there, but it allows that base unit to slide. So my question is, does that allow for you to move the battery to the left or to the right by let's say three quarters of an inch to make a more balanced camera? Or is that simply to be able to use this specific contraption on many different bodies? like the T-Body, like the T8i or the 7D or the 6D or 5D or the whatever. Is that what that's for? Very cool though, very cool. What do you guys think about this? Remember, like I said, you have batteries for the old like 20D, 30D, 40D, 50Ds, right? Then you have batteries for all of your 5Ds, 7Ds and all this stuff. Then you have batteries for your big 1Ds where they stuff into the side. You have all of these batteries and you have all of these grips and it looks by this pattern that all that's gonna go bye-bye. That is gonna be this one universal plated battery grip that will allow you to use either multi small batteries, right? In this fashion okay, or one big 1D battery coming in from the side. Super stupid simple, right? Super simple. I don't know guys, as of late, it seems like the sleeping bear that's been in hibernation, Canon, has woken up and it's like hungry. It's like on a feeding frenzy. It's doing a whole bunch of good stuff. Like why? I don't even get it. Right? I don't want to I don't want to jinx it, but they're actually doing stuff. There's been a lot of patents that I've been seeing and I've talked to you guys about that are like, wow, you 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 what? <laughs> you guys are you guys are awake? What's going on? So I don't know, maybe it's just Sony that's just giving it to Canon so hard that Canon said, you know what? Enough is enough. We need to like take the reins here, get control over our company, get control of the market again, and really start banging this stuff out as we should be, hitting it all on eight cylinders instead of on four, all right, in econo mode or something, all right? Maybe that's what it is, I don't know. But either which way, it does feel like Canon is now creating a power tool type of grip and a grip that's going to be able to be used universally across their entire platform of cameras. So very neat, very cool stuff. I wanna hear from you. I wanna know what you think. Do you think that this is cool? Do you think that it's interesting that they're actually doing something? Do you think that this could be, as I say, a unit that will be able to be used on the entire gamut, their entire platform, one battery grip for all? Is that possible? And what do you think about my ideas of the multi-accessible bottom battery grip itself, where you have them coming in through the side and then popping out the front, where you can access the two batteries from the front, like let's say a 5D here, right? Access them there or right from the side, just like a 1D. I don't know, I could be wrong. Look at the patents, check them out. I'm gonna put them up. You'll see them somewhere in the video. I'll have them pop up really in big detail. Hit pause on the video, look at them. A lot of you guys are smarter than I am. Let me know what you think. Let's have this discussion. I think it's cool, either which way. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the content as always. If you have, please throw me a thumbs up. That would be awesome. If you absolutely hate it, throw me two thumbs down. So that would be perfect. Also, don't forget to smash 
that subscribe button so you can get all my content when it becomes available and click the bell icon over here so when it is available you'll be notified of it and finally head over to my website jchristina.com where you can find all the photography tools that I've invented for you and me over the years and hopefully there's something there that you might like and if there is please pick it up and support me. And for getting to the end of this video and listening to my rant and nonsense, as always, I'm gonna give you 20% off everything that's at my store. jchristina.com, use promo code YT20 at checkout. Once again, promo code YT20 at checkout and you will get 20% off everything at jchristina.com. And finally, pick up my ebook jchristina.com forward slash ebook, 10 tips at making sharper images, great for amateurs, professionals, whoever, good, good stuff. Get it, it's free. Once again, jchristina.com forward slash ebook. That's it, I'm out of here. Many blessings to each and every one of you. Take care and have a great weekend.